from collapsing. It is going to collapse. There is a controversy raging everywhere in America today. Everywhere, that is, except in our major media. The U.S. national debt just surpassed $12 trillion. Explain this pie chart uh, to America on uh, our spending here, our, our money problems. Can you explain this? Well, we have multiple national debts, Glenn. We don't just have one national debt. Everyone knows that we owe 8 to $10 trillion. It takes the entire world a year to pay off our debt. The Treasury decided we need to start printing more money. This hockey sh stick should take your breath away. This is devaluing our money. We as a nation are headed for an economic disaster. Not in a thousand years, perhaps in the next year. I mean, the reason that this country has been able to survive all these years is because we can print money. India just purchased 200 metric tons of gold from the IMF for $6.7 billion dollars in order to diversify their reserves away from the U.S. dollar. The patient for me is the dollar, and we're going to be on the verge of killing the patient. And when you see gold up at $1,100 an ounce, that's a little bit of a warning sign. had a huge move in all currencies. Right. That's very important. It means that investors were betting on a global debauching of currency, not just a weak dollar. I'm going to collapse the likes of which the world has never seen before. It's not only in the, in the United States, it's going global. We are on the precipice of a, of a major uh, economic financial collapse because of a weaker dollar, and it's going to lead to higher interest rates and a weaker economy. It so business can happen, but no one where it's going to begin. Well, guys, we are in for some dark, dark times just ahead. Our economy seemingly on the brink of collapse. We have to look at all of the contributing factors that make our financial crisis so serious. No possibility. Their big concern for the moment is the potential for a disorderly decline in the dollar. We saw major bankruptcies. Circuit City. We saw linens and things. One bankruptcy after another. Then we saw store closings. Starbucks, Home Depot, down the line. The inventories of agricultural products are the lowest they've been in sure decades. Than any serious candidate for the president and most importantly the two nominees for the major parties that they make fiscal responsibility one of their top three priorities if they don't they don't deserve to be president and if they don't we're in trouble when the prophecy came about the economic collapse this was prophesied in all four volumes every time I get ready to write the written judgment starting in 1988 really as early as 87 89, 96, and 98. The Spirit has always spoke about the American dollar and the weakness that would begin to come. Even in some prophecies, it talks about the faces on the dollar drooping and the tears coming out of the eyes of the presidents, the dead presidents on these bills. We are coming into days where the currency we hold in our hand might become tissue paper because it will become worthless and a new currency we will begin to grab a hold of.